Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Grey Coast Irish Whiskey. According to the label, 700 mil, not 750, so it's on a small side. 40% alcohol by volume, that's 80 proof. Packaging is, for just being grey, it's really, really nice. This relieved paint they put on these things of the coastline in the back usually there is some sort of tale of this is great 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 granddad's secret recipe he hid from the whatever and in this case no it is it's a simple little poem of sorts of living near the coast and how it is a wonderful place to be. I've never lived near a coast. I would not know one for living wise. I have fished and hunted near coasts, but lived not. It is a cork that's been ground onto plastic. So cheap packaging. Excellent bottle, cheap cork. I love that. That's what we get. It is a beautiful caramel. Now I have a, a strong enjoyment of Irish whiskeys. I find them to be all in all just right. Uh, scotch is a little too punchy in the nose. American whiskeys, I always have in mind that they're trying to be the man in a room. Too bad the scotch is there to knock them down a peg, but they're just kind of bullying me around as well. The Canadian is nice. The Japanese, very good. Very good stuff. But I haven't had enough of it to really... Say yes in my ranking of so they, they kind of float around, but sitting at top is the Irish whiskey. It doesn't seem to punch me in the face as hard as others. There's usually enough body there to to satisfy my palate. It's quite nice, for the most part. There are of course some out there that are not so good, others out there that are above and beyond, but for the most part. Of the whiskeys, I find Irish quite nice. A lot of odd, odd notes. There's actually a woody scent to it. An orange, like an orange peel scent to it. I would like to say a vanilla, but that could be just me. There's a hint of alcohol, that ethanol, in the back. Some other things I can't quite wrap my nose around. But all in all, pleasant. So, the taste. <coughs> Always that initial cough. It's gonna drive me nuts. But it is a subtle burn and a subtle bite. That uh, orange starts to come through more and more and more. But uh, it's 
a bit burnt orange. And it really dominates. That's what it is. It has a um, smoky peatiness to it. Almost like it wants to be a scotch. But it's not. This is not a scotch. But has hints in that direction. So be warned. I like the fact that it's not punching me in the face. I don't like the fact that it tastes like burnt orange peel. A lot of burnt orange peel. And I'm not sure which I find more offensive, the burnt orange peel or the burnt. It's kind of rides them both back and forth. I usually like the, the taste of, you know, something that's been oaked, heavily oaked. It's gonna lean in that direction, but it's, it's not complimenting the flavors in this very well. The, I said I wanted to, to smell vanilla in it, and I'm not getting it in the, the palette. The array of other flavors seem to be short as well. It has a very, very long hang time. Just does not want to go away at all. The level of flavor it is quite high, actually. Thus, going with the long hang time. And it just, it likes it, it gets it and holds. So, but it's not heavy. It just doesn't want to leave. If that makes any sense at all. I wish there was more notes. I wish there were more layers. But that's all you know, up, up to the, the, the distiller. It's relatively flat, but not offensive. So as a as a sipper, it's not bad, but I believe you can find I hate to say this. I believe you can find a little bit better better out there as for uh, to mix to blend you know to mix in with with the other cocktails and whatnot i believe this will go very well with that it's got strong pungent not the right way to say it, not the right word i'm looking for but it's got a strong enough flavors that if you put it into a cocktail it will stand up against those other strong flavors you know a cola or you know, some sort of juice or something, you'll know this is in it. It will not be dominated. So that part will go well with your cocktails. But like I said, trying it neat, it's, it's like paint. Now, I, I don't mean to sound offensive, it's, you know, paint is, is a good thing, that's possible. But it kind of hits, sits, and there's, nothing else it's level it's what you what you see what you get wet or dry or you know one coat is all you need and that's that's, that's this so it, it's a little too heavy for uh several times sipping a little too long hang time wise for late spring summer early fall we're now at the taping of this particular video, rolling into the beginning of spring. We're hit, hitting a bit of a heat spike right now. And I would have to say this is a little too, pardon, a little bit too, uh, too strong for that. Now, cold, rainy, misty, you know, on the gray coast as it were. It would probably fall better than that that sort of a thing. You want you want colder weather to go with this. The atmosphere, you know, will, will complement it better. But 
the other thing the other the atmosphere would bring with it is layers you know the sound the feel and all that sort of thing where like i said it's it's nice but it's flat you can throw ice into it that will help things out sure greatly because the ice usually muddies layers down and there's nothing for this to muddy it is what you see what you get so if you're if you're into that a nice simple non compliment non not compliment non complicated uh flavor this is the way to go so there you go it's not, not the greatest of reviews but i mean it's it's not bad for um you know 30 some dollars uh, at this time period in the middle of the uh the empire it's it's not breaking the bank either but um yeah, I mean, it's it's worth the cost of admission. How's that? That's the best, best I can give it. So there you go. This is a great coast. Um, yeah, try it. See what you think. As a matter of fact, in any comments down below, warm accepted as always. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it, and let the rest of us in the YouTube experience community know your thoughts on Grey Coast Irish whiskey to see whether you think it's it's worth 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 trying worth worth the purchase i say it's worth trying but then again i'm always up for new things to try new experiences and this was a nice new experience i've i've been smacked on the nose in the past with uh you know trying new things and this is not a smack on the nose it's just it's worth a try how's that in the meantime, keep on drinking.